What's up, guys? Welcome to your Daily Dose of Joseph. I am your host, Joseph Chase Mantendo. In the last episode, we, <laughs> we drug on longer than we should have, and then I had to take a break. It was uh, a huge friggin' kikwi hunt, and it was a lot of work. I should have been more attentive. I think that's... I'm using the word right. <laughs> we'll know in editing. But for now, we got five Deku Seeds. These small seeds serve as ammunition for your slingshot. Make sure you're all, you've always got a few handy. <clears throat> so, as you can see up at the top right, something feels weird. Why does it feel weird? What was that? Anyways, as I was saying... The slingshot maxes itself out right now at 20 capacity. I can only carry 20 of the, um, things. Whatever the things are called, Deku Seeds. Wow, we are filling this map in quick. We are deep inside of these woods. That looks like a human stomach. What do you want from me? I have confirmed the plant life of this area matches that of foreign woods. I can see that with my eyes, it looks the same. We've reached an area, area locally referred to as the Deep Woods. Aren't you the smart one? Now we should continue toward the temple and search for Zelda. I don't wanna. I don't wanna search for her. I just wanna find her. I want her to be home. And say, oh my god. No! You called people! Why would you do that? Stop blocking! Okay. 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 And now we got bees on us? What is this? Link to, link to the past? Alright. Uh, and kill him? Fatal blow. Haha. <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, there's rupees over here. Let me get my rupees and then I'll fight. Or, well, I'll get these rupees and I'll kill you because you're not exactly putting up a fight now, are you? Get as many siege as you can, actually. That's not useful because I already maxed it out 20. I think if I remember correctly, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Uh, ouch! Ouch! I'm sorry! No, no, I screwed myself. I screwed myself. Uh, get out of here! Okay, okay, I'm just gonna walk this wall and pick up a heart and run! Don't do it! I want full health! You're obviously not gonna let me have full health. What was that? No, it's a bird. Oh my god! You're gonna have me! Get out of me! You know, I haven't actually been stung by a bee. Like, I hear people get stung by bees pretty often, like a lot of my friends seem to. Maybe it's just because they go out more than me. Because, um, uh, I haven't been stung by a bee. Dang it, stop blocking me! Stop blocking me! Ooh, a heart! But I haven't, uh, gotten stung by a bee since I was, like, seven, I think, I got stung by a bee. Alright, so, slingshots. Destroy that thing. Don't, don't, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's what I didn't want. Dang it. Don't touch me, don't touch me. I don't want to fall. I don't want to fall. Oh, snap. I should not have tempted fate. Fate pushed back harder than I did. It's kind of like when you push against a wall and then the wall pushes harder and you fall down. Or is that just me? That's probably just me. Alright. So, up along here, I swear I saw a Bokoblin roaming around. There he is. But first, you want to come up here. There's another shortcut with a log. A lot of these logs giving us shortcuts. Oh god, I didn't realize that ate my stamina. Maybe since I went into a cutscene, I'll automatically refill. Yes! Awesome game. Thank you. So let's just go ahead and hurry on down here. Let's let this guy think he got us. Okay, it didn't work. I'm trying to... No, I don't want to talk to him. Okay, okay, stop it. There we go. So, because Link is stupid and locked on up there. Zelda! Zelda! Dang! Dude, I'm trying to find my girl. I, I don't care if you need my help. Oh, snap! Okay, that didn't work. There. So the little Octorok. -oct. Stop locking on to him, Link. Or Fi. Maybe Fi is doing the lock on. Dang, Link! You think you're good, don't you? Why would you use your sword and shield when you're climbing an edge like that? 
<laughs> Wouldn't that, like, take up too much room and lock your fingers and make you fall? Possibly, probably, more than likely. Okay, okay. Now this guy, let's see if we can't get him to come over here for us. Maybe once he stops being dizzy. Come on. Come on there, baby. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you. And you're gonna step on those things, aren't you? Oh, look at you. You're so stupid. You don't even realize you're walking to your own death. It doesn't affect him. Dang it. Yep, fine. Just fall. I'm sorry. It had to be done. Let's go ahead and take these things out because we can and they will knock us down otherwise. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking down there, I just got that just butt tingling sensation of fear. <laughs> I'm sorry to the Pokemon who I pushed down into the hole. Um, anything going on up here? No? Oh, there you are. Open that mouth. There we go. And he drops money for us. And we all love money. Deep in the woods, just activate it. You don't need to save. Um, is this it? This is... Dang! I thought there was a lot more to this area, but I guess not. Ah! Link! You almost... You died. Gotta pretend that didn't happen. Let's continue. Ah, Link! That's so dangerous. You were holding on by the very end. Never mind, it just looks like you were. Now, first things first, I just saw a treasure chest up here. So let's get up here and pop that open. And we got 20 rupees. Always welcome addition to my wallet. Alright, um... Hearts, I don't have... Okay, now I need hearts. Why are you golden? Uh, Quadro Baba? This violent plant is widespread in the wood area. It attempts to bite anything that approaches it. More rare than the Decubaba, Quadro Baba has greater stamina. A golden husk and dynamic mouth they are its plant's distinguishing features. You have defeated zero of this enemy and I don't want to hear that part. Oh! That's right. I see how tough you are. You don't have nearly as good stamina as I do, sir. You only took... Two, well, one hit, technically, one was a parry. Now before, no! Oh. Hold up, boy, let me ask you a favor. Shut up! I wanted to push that log down. You're not gonna let me, are you? <sighs> Fine. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled upon one of these things just now, and it looks just like uh, something I've seen in those ancient texts. I didn't know they had phones back then. Mm. If I remember right, Yep, this is one of those things the goddess said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought of the name for these things. I have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Sure. Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see. Uh, Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you say you try and crack that mystery cube? Uh, wait, crack the crack the mystery of this cube together. Sure, because I'm you're not gonna let me go, and I know for a fact you probably will not let me go. The cube is made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I wailed on it, wailed on it, but nothing happened. You know what I have to say? This is a crack an egg line. The light from the heavenly blade. He's curious about the light from the heavenly blade, but because we. Are us, we know exactly what that means. Scout would strike. Bam! Worked. That's. This guy knows how to translate some ancient text. Why does he even know that language? <clears throat> Whoa! Did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted dude, to that whirly beam thing you shot out of your sword. Are you not catching on? The friggin' statue reacted to me when I got near it. And then I have a sword that shoots blades, conveniently enough. And where do you think the cube is shot off to? This mystery just got a whole lot more uh, mysterious. The texts say that there are cubes like that all over this land. I tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find uh, one out more about them along the way, you come and see me. So, I'll go ahead and sum up for you. They're basically uh, just laying around like that one right there. 
And we hit them with our sword. And we see what they do. Let's see if this one does anything different. And no, it's just retracting into a ball of light and shooting into the sky again. With no further explanation of what it may be doing. Um, ah, what do you want? Master Joseph, I've detected Zelda's aura emanating from within these structures. However, oh, I've already detected the also detected the presence of numerous monsters. What do you say? Do you want to proceed? Of course! Of course I want to proceed! It would be very unwise to display confident overconfidence here. We're in the walls of this place, no one will come to your aid. That's scary. Don't tell me that. That makes it sound like Silent Hill. If you feel unprepared to face the dangers the dangers ahead, consider returning to the sky to properly equip yourself. Well, I can't do much here, can I? But it would be wise to carry a shield to protect yourself with, as well as look at <clears throat> as a stock of potions to restore lost hearts. Now we should continue our search for Zelda. I agree. Now let me search for Zelda. If I remember correctly, hey, that's not what I was thinking. Um, I, yeah, there's something over here. He who descends from above. That's me. Look to the star that the bird, the rising heavenward, gazes upon, and aim your shot there. What? Uh, what? Oh, that's a huge tree. I could have sworn there was a treasure chest around here, but it doesn't look like it. Looks like I'm just derping. Um, there's a heart plant. So let's go ahead and replenish because I am obsessed with having full health. Now, since we're about to go into a temple, I would highly recommend saving. Just, just for safety. Because that's what saving, safety, you know the drill. Um, hello. The door is sealed shut. Now it feels exactly like Silent Hill. Door sealed shut. <laughs> um, Zelda's right inside there. Now he mentioned something about it. That thing over there mentioned something about a heavenly bird. Well, that's got. Ha 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 ha. That's a bird. That ain't no bird. But I guess you're in the sky, so that makes you bird. Maybe we can shoot it up. That's not working. Oh wait. Thanks for that one, Fi. That's a. That's a bird right there, and the bird is pointing up, so now the world makes sense. So, shoot, aim, scream, aim, and fire. And did it work? Yes! Oh, yeah! Like I didn't know it was going to work already. Welcome to the Skyview Temple. Are you about to say what I just did? I have bad news. The wars of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I cannot isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Dang it! Given the situation, I suggest you look around to see what we should move to next. Now, you see there's a bird right there. Go outside, he takes you right outside, save, save and quit. Also, I didn't really make note of that, because it's so normal, and there's so many of them, it's almost... Uh, there's almost no point to mention it. And, um... Get out of, get out of me! Um... I believe that... I believe... I guess <laughs> Um... Uh, I think this is the first Zelda game to ever use save states versus always being able to just hit pause and save your progress. I'm not sure why they went that route, but I really don't mind it. When I first started playing, I remember being mad, like, oh, save states? What? I hate those, because really, I usually do, but 
there's so many of them and they're so easy they're always around that there's no reason to complain uh, okay more money more money for me <laughs> get the money <laughs> we got more coins than Mario so wait those aren't coins okay so that door is locked um, something's going on up there we should definitely figure a way up there but as you see there's uh, one of those guys up there being all like, I'm a wise guy. What do you, what do you think I'm doing up here? Or, okay, let me through. Yes. Oh, oh no, oh no. <sighs> that just sucked. Now, if you're good, you could probably do a trick shot and hit that from down there. But I highly, highly advise against it. There's no reason to. Unless you just want to show off, which, sure, showing off, it's always a fun, it's a good time, but it's not worth it. Is this... Oh, boy. Alright, this could take you a while, like, if you're, if you ever played Zelda, your first instinct is to shoot the eye. But it closes its eye when you pop out that thing. I think this thing right here will probably explain it to you. Let's pick up a plant and not... Uh, what? What the fudge? Let's throw it. Ooh, money! Money! Oh, money's always, always good. No, I want to read the... Get out of my face. He who descends from the sky, lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. What does that mean? Now Fi is talking to me. Maybe that's what he meant. Master Joseph, it is likely that I, that I am the servant this title is referring to. I called it. To help you with your mission, the goddess gave me a massive quantity of knowledge about this land. Uh, should you find yourself in need of answers, I hope you, you won't hesitate in calling me by pressing down. Target an object and press down to get information. Why are you repeating yourself? Why? <sighs> so, oh, maybe she'll tell us about this. This magical century has a natural tendency to stare at the tip of appointed objects. Wow, so that was not a puzzle at all. Like, uh, the only reason I knew how to beat this, which you just, if you ever played Mario, just, oh, make it dizzy. Yep. But my, the only reason I knew is because I watched E3 where they first showed this game off, and that was one of the things they showed. They're like, check out this enemy. You spin your sword and it goes, blam, 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 I'm dizzy and I died because you made me dizzy. And, uh, it probably... It's better that it died because it could have never ridden in a car. Well, cars don't exist back then, actually, so. What am I saying? Ah! Don't blow up on me! Um, here's another bird. Don't need it. Um, but yeah, and I saw the guy at E3 um, doing that, and he was like, oh, it's a game kids often play in Japan where they, um, nice, nice. How do I. There we go. Um, uh, where they would catch a dragonfly and spin their fingers around it to make it dizzy. And it would, they'd let go of the dragonfly, yes, animal abuse, and it'd start spinning around like, oh, and just flying to a wall and stuff. And was, I just did that for no reason, didn't I? Oh, there is something up there. What's up there? So, that's, uh, the only reason I ever knew about it, and I heard a lot of people saying, Oh, it's so hard, there's no reason for it to be that hard, why'd they do this to us, and blah blah blah. That's, so you, that's, I just opened up a shortcut right there, this game's full of those. Um, and, I, I it would have been easier if you lived in Japan, and you knew about that game, of course. But Phi pretty much explains it for you if you know how to use her, so if you didn't, if you got stuck there and got mad about it, it's only your fault. Okay, stop, stop, stop! There. Now stay down. Oh, snap. Can I get back up? Yes, I can. So what's going on down here? Uh, anything going on? It looks like... A little puddle down here. What's this all about? Ooh! Ooh, money. <sighs> money, 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 money! Next time I see a rupee on the ground, please, you guys, remind me. Oh, there's one I can show it to you right now. One in a tree that I can show you with. Let's see if I can get up there in time. And there's one in the grass that I could have shown you with easier. Link, grab the vines! 
And, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Alright, this is a cool little feature they added. You hit it and it. Oh! Oh, I knocked it down? I didn't know that. I thought I'd just make it spin. But yeah, you can actually mess with rupees laying around in this game, which I think is awesome. I think it should forever be like that and from now on in new Zelda games. Even though it's a useless little thing, but it's kind of like the graphics of Halo 4. They're nice and all, but it's like a painting. Look, but don't touch. If you shoot a leaf, that leaf doesn't care. That leaf's like, I'm just here. I'm not mass. I'm a trick in your eyes. Derp, you can't see me. I don't know what that means. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on from that super cool thing, I don't know where to go first. That switch down there below unlocked that door while well, this switch opened that. I feel like they want me to see this one first, so I'm going to go down there. I was just being stupid and looking around at the bottom, and I was like, oh yeah, there's a switch down here. So I was, oh, snap. Yes. Okay. Now the cobwebs won't get me. Oh! What is this thing? Master, I detected a targetable objects in your meat. If you press, if you press down while targeting an object while holding Z, stop, stop repeating yourself. Stop telling me these things. Scultula. This giant species of spider inhabits the deepest areas of the forest. It attacks a, with a highly adhesive webbing in order to pre prevent its prey from escaping. It has a tough outer car. Okay, carp, carpus, carpus. But his stomach may be vulnerable to attack. I am currently considering additional analysis on its movement patterns. You've defeated zero. Stop. I don't care about that part. I don't care. Oh, oh that didn't work. Don't you touch me. Uh, what do I do to you? Do I? Oh, I made you spin! Now stab it! Stab it! <laughs> oh, I got behind it! What the heck? That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Alright, now there's that one up there that's being a real jerk. Alright, come on, man. Don't be this guy. Just, yeah, go die with your brethren. Now you are forever no more. <laughs> let's try this again, shall we? Ouch! <laughs> Okay, let's let's do it better than that. Okay, there we go. Now it's spun around. Get it, Link. Get it. Ah, oh, dang it! I'm dying. Don't tell me I'm gonna need to use my potion this soon. You know, my my shield's almost broken. If I get in the hit one more time, I will use my potion. All right, there. Did you drop anything good? No. What you got to say to me, little stone tablet? Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only open when the gemstones are struck. One is above, one is below. Sounds like it's telling me about that door that I just came through and then that switch that I hit at the bottom that opened the other door. Uh, it does not look like we can get over there. It, ooh, secret pet. Dang it! Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. <laughs> secret passage! Alright. What's going on in here? Oh, heck yeah. What's that gonna do? I feel like I don't wanna do this. Especially considering I have three things and I'm almost out because I keep using them. What if I use them up on? I had 20. That should've been more than... Oh god! Oh god, Link! Link, get out of there! Do you know how to swim? Go! Last time you were in water, you got thrown out of a waterfall! Get, get to the edge! Ah, ah, safety. Safety. Um, yeah. What? Why are holding the ground? Probably just a little decoration. Um, still can't get over there. So why don't we go see if? Oh, let me go! Let me go! Let me go! Why don't we go see if that did anything out here? Doesn't look. Yeah, yeah, it did. I'm stupid. Um. I guess I go to the other side now. Money! That's just one rupee. I'm fine with having 249 rupees. Why? Because it's uneven and it looks exotic. Whereas 250, that's something that it's kind of like when your parents ask you how much the Nintendo Wii was and you're like, uh, it's 250 bucks. That sounds 
like more simplified but if you tell them 249 they'd be like what what does that mean i've never been to a store that sold something ouch at an odd number let's heal up <laughs> I'm pathetic. I needed to use a potion in the first dungeon. Yay me. Oh boy. Is there anything I can get some Deku Nuts out of in here? That'd be wonderful. Thank you! Oh, oh, over here too? Yay! It works! It works! All I have to do is say it, it'll happen! Now, if only I could find some money in my pocket. So, what you do here is. You, you know, you just... <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, for real though, use your slingshot, you take out the... Oh my god, Link, you almost dropped. Ooh, what's this? Ah, oh, we definitely need to get over there then. No! Don't you dare do that, Link. Don't fall off. Yeah, swing your sword, your Wii Remote. I guess they got it. They did it right if they're making me call this thing a sword. Okay, no. I don't want to... Okay, you know what? Fine. He's out of my way forever. He'll never bother me again. Okay, good. I thought I missed it. <clears throat> yeah, now he's gonna drown. <laughs> it's like... I must... I'm sorry, spider. It's like I flushed you down the toilet. Sucks to be you. Um, there's nothing I can do about him. There really isn't. Okay, let's just make sure I don't get stuck going through there, because... I hate that. I hate that when that happens to the max. Uh, Link, no! You're stupid! That was all your fault, Link! <sighs> so, anyways, I guess Link's over his fear of water since he fell out of that waterfall. Since he fell out of that waterfall back at Skyloft. But maybe that's for the best. You know, uh, speaking of water. I have not been out into open water more than up to my ankles in like three foot. Oh, oh my. Three or four years or something like that. I have not been out into open water. Like, let me think. 2007, I think. What year is this? So, okay, 2013, so 2007 was six years ago. Six years ago, I was 10 or 11, so, okay, back when I was 10 or 11 was the last time that I was in a, uh, I went out in the ocean. That's way too long ago. Although, in all honesty, I hate the ocean. I hate it with a passion. It's, uh, I don't, I like swimming, but not in the ocean. Okay, no, you keep changing your position. Okay, you know, I'm waiting for you. Come at me, bro. Oh, you're just a stupid quadro baba. I shouldn't be having this much trouble with you. There, there, freaking die, man. Just freaking die. Ooh, a little a stone tablet. What's going on over here? Shall I call you Nexus? Gaze upon your map until your eyes find the X. For it is there that you must strike a glittering gemstone and reveal a path. You shall find a temple map in a room with two such gemstones. I feel like I'm I passed the map. I missed the map, missed the map, oh uh, whatever. I don't know how his song goes. Also, if you haven't noticed, this episode goes on extra long as it is a uh, uh, a temple. So I don't want to cut the temples up into multiple episodes just for convenience for people looking at this for a walkthrough. Okay, apparently there were two gemstones in this room, one under the water and one in above the door. Gotcha. Anyways, that's your dungeon map, and there you go. There's everywhere. I right, hit the two gemstones on where the X's are marked already, I'm pretty sure. Master! I have information to <clears throat> for you. You have obtained the map of this area. You can view it by pressing plus. The position of doors uh, and their locks, as well as the position of statues of tre and uh, yeah, the status of treasure chests, it can be confirmed on the map with the marks such as X. However, be aware that you will be unable to use beacons here due to the indoor nature of this environment. That makes sense. All right, now you open your map. Um, 
There's a treasure chest that I didn't get. What? Where is that? Where is that? Okay. So, over in that direction? <laughs> My voice broke. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, how do I get up there? Well, let's see if we can figure it out. It's, I think I know what I was looking at in here. This is that room where I was like, oh, I can't get across, isn't it? Alright, um... There's no way for me to get over there. So, screw that. And... Let's find out how to get to it by another direction? Or is there only one direction in? Ah, music. What has become of you? I still love you, just not that music. Ah, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Ah, kind of like icy, hot, and cold. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this. I don't need to continue. <clears throat> okay, so that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's get right through here. And get our treasure! It's the something gold. Ah! <laughs> you! You! Stay back! Stay back! <laughs> okay. No, not your shield. I was swinging the wrong thing like an. <sighs> no! Stab it! Yes! I did it! I win! I win! That's right, give me that freaking heart. Alright. Look at you! Look at you, little idiot! Oh, you like the sword tip? You like the tip on my sword? Oh, I'm sorry, but you know spinning your eyes will cause a strain, right? Yeah, it happens every now and then. When it does, you might just wanna... <laughs> just die already! Am I not going in a wide enough circle for you? What is this? Do I have to go faster? I don't... What do you want from me? Oh yeah, um, you can twist your sword back and forth in your hand and it twists, but that is not what's important right now. What's important is me getting this... What's wrong with you? Fine, I'll get... Oh! What, what do you have to say? The sentries you see here are born of evil magic. They have a tendency to fix their gaze upon pointed objects that move in their view. A set of sentries is bound together. This allows them to resist being rotated ind independently from one another. Oh! I have to get both of them. Derp. My sword is not even over there. You guys aren't even looking at it. Kind of funny how I mentioned some people might be using this as a walkthrough a minute ago, and there I am derping about a puzzle. <laughs> so what do we got? What do we got? You got a small key. This key will open a locked door. You can only use it in this area. So Steve, now tell me, what are you gonna do with your small key? I'm going to Disney. <laughs> Disney's are not in this area, little boy. I think you lost the game. I'm gonna revoke that key from you, but no! Why is it a kid's game show? <laughs> Do those exist? I think Jeopardy had Jeopardy's kids before. I know they've done college students. It'd be kind of unfair to do it for kids, wouldn't it? Oh no, if they could make it work. Heck, if I was gonna make a game, I wouldn't make it, like, intensely brain hemorrhagingly confusing if I wanted to make it for kids I'd make it more comfortable and lenient that is just me trying to think inside the box though oh oh this room now you're in the temple all right so there's instead of letting us get overwhelmed first let's take down that rupee let's take down that rupee and let's hit that switch in there or right there, it's not in anything. Well, technically it's inside this temple, I guess, but if I'm saying in there, I mean something that we're not... It opened the door. You hit the switch and it opens the door. And what's that laying on the floor? Oh! Why did it lock behind me? What are you doing? Oh, I don't like you. Alright, what is this? 
Target locked. Stalfos. The skeleton soldier is born of the dead. It is in its previous life. It was an ordinary knight, but a undeath has improved its combat abilities. It is possible to overpower it with a well-timed shield bash during the creature's attack. You should do. De you have defeated zero of these. Shut up! I don't want to hear that every time I analyze a new enemy. Oh! Now you see something I didn't like was Reggie went on the Jimmy Fallon show and was trying to show off this game and show how the enemies oh no okay okay I see a heart plant get me out of here okay and uh, he was trying to show off how the combat skills are actually necessary and how they change like you see if I were to strike from the side or from above him well he moved his sword but from above him now he blocks it oh I took off your arms by shield bashing you how do you feel brah how do you feel and Jimmy Fallon made every gamer look stupid by he just goes in let me just replicate this for you <laughs> and then because it hadn't even had a chance to get up he killed it and ruined Reggie's presentation and I I didn't even do it as much as he did he was he was a lot worse but it really made me mad because Reggie it's it'd be kinda like you showing your friend this let's play or showing it to him as a walkthrough and he's like oh yeah yeah you know I've seen guys that do this they, they do it this way though and it's like yeah but I'm trying to show you this guy yeah but, but you can don't do it this way I'm trying to show you this guy so this is a beetle uh, it kind of explained it there sort of a little bit not really I don't know you have acquired a new item. Analysis of this object's insect-like profile and wings indicates it can fly. It's got small wings. Tilt the Wii Remote. Tilt the control left behind in your hand there. <laughs> the sharp structure on the front of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to small objects. To launch the device, press B to ready it for takeoff and then press A. Alright. So, okay, good. It already equipped it for us. So you aim it, it's got a big old cursor, I'm not sure why. Tilt the Wii Remote around, let's grab this heart for Link. And you got right through there. Now, let's see what's going on outside. Don't let the bats get you. Aha! That's exactly what I expected. Hit that and it'll open up for you. And you can, um, it unlocks it because dark magic locked it behind us when we first went in. And there's nothing else for us to use it for in this room in particular. Once we get outside, though, I believe it has a more important use to us in an instant. I want to explore, so why don't we look around this tower? <laughs> Let's pretend I don't know what's happening. Alright, grab the heart, I guess. Sure, why not? Oh, you ruined it, you stupid keys. You ruined it. You ruined it. You had to go and oh, don't you start crapping me too. Right. I remember showing, or well, no, I wasn't showing it to my mom. This game, uh, we went to Best Buy to pick up Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. Oh, uh, he's getting too far. Okay, um, and they had this on display, and my mom's like, oh yeah, the new Zelda. Um, Thing. And uh, I'm like, oh yeah, you should play that. And uh, I'm like, well, uh, I have it at home. You can play it there. But uh, while we're waiting, because the guy hadn't even set out the games yet, for he hadn't set out Combat Evolved, uh, even though it was like three o'clock in the afternoon, guy at Best Buy did not find time to set out a new game on the shelf. So he had to go back in storage and find the box, and then blah blah blah. So while we're waiting, they had a demo of this area and my mom was playing and she did not understand the sword control at all. I explained it to her, I'm like, alright, you swing, Ooh, I like it, I like it, let me, no, 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 okay, get it, get the heart, you got a piece of heart, collect four to increase your heart to capacity by one, you are just one more heart piece away, from gaining a whole new heart. Um, but I told her, I'm like, alright, so what, they had this temple as shown showing there for a demo. And I told her, I'm like, 
All right, well, you hold B, and it opens up your items. You point to one, and it'll select it, and then you let go of B, and then it opens up that item for you. And she she did not understand that at all. So then uh, I'm like, all right, well, start by pulling out your sword. And then she presses B, and I'm like, all right, yeah, that's other Zelda games, not this one. And uh, she, we were there for like five minutes. I'm like, swing, swing the Wii remote like it's a sword. And then she'd hold B and then swing it. And I'm just like, hardcore face palm. Brrr. She never understood it. Okay, there's nothing up here for us but some good money, I guess. That's always very welcome. So, okay, you know, let's cut this guy down just because he's bothering me. Yes, that's right. Just wait. Your death is nigh! Yeah, there we go. Good. Had to get him before he uh, flipped himself over. So, as you can see, I was going into a couple holes, and then there's more holes over here. Um, I think... Oh! Don't you dare! Alright, let's go up in here and see what's going on. I know there's a switch inside of one of these, and it's gotta figure out which one, and I hit the wall. Alright. Now please, 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 please. Okay, it's just money in there. Just money. No worries. No worries. I'm gonna stop being a greedy American for a second. And what about this one? I wish that I could just make this thing go faster just by boom, make him go and rocket down the way. Oh, don't don't hit the wall. I don't wanna reset this again. Alright. Is there nothing in here? Are you kidding me? Are you... That was a waste. Alright, so that went into that hole and came out of that hole. So, maybe... Let's try over here. Maybe we can get into this door. Let's go ahead and take this box down while we're at it for no reason at all. I Seriously, I don't know what this box is for. <laughs> Alright. That was way too high, but whatever gets the job done. Oh, okay, there's 20 rupees in the box. That's perfectly, perfectly acceptable, as always, welcome. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Because, you know, YOLO. Asterisk, I do not condone YOLO. <laughs> okay, there it is, there's my switch. Thank God. Alright, good, and it's not like the other side of the room, so they made it convenient for me. Let's check the map. Let's see what all's going on here. Okay, so I'm going straight to a treasure chest right now. Um, what's that? I saw. Okay, let's let's see if we can do this. Trick shot. Boom. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Let's let's try that again. All right. Let's try that again. Okay, I'm off center. I'm definitely off center. Okay, 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 okay. I'm done with that. I'm sorry. Um, did I just screw myself? <laughs> it's gotta be something. All right. Let's see. Can he pick up an amber relic for me? Good boy. Look at you. Now maybe we can go hit this switch over here. No, don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Hit the switch. Hit the switch. Okay, so there's no reason for me to go through that other hole over there. Okay, what's this water for? Oh, I see. It just makes it easier for me to get back, so there's no reason whatsoever for me to be doing that. How can Link see that far to control that thing when he launches it? Oh boy, more of those things, and they're obviously in sync, and the door closed, so... Fight? Oh! Hello! Now what you want to do is do backflip uh, by swinging the nunchuck and Wii Remote up at the same time. It flips them over. And you can just f fatal blow them. Um. Okay, these guys. These guys. Let's just go ahead and get straight to the point. Dang it! Why would you miss that, Joseph? You always screw up. You would miss that, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you? That's terrible for my voice. That is. What is that? Oh, okay, it was a clump of hearts frozen in time. Link froze time. Link's the time traveler. Conspiracies! Conspiracies! <laughs> okay, that was a very obnoxious. Let me never do that again. So, tear down this box. 
And welcome to Zelda. Again, as I mentioned before, back at the beginning, when we were pushing that one block at the school, block puzzles. Huge, huge part of Zelda. And this is the first instance of one in the real world that I can think of. I don't know if I've already done one. If I have, please correct me in the comments if you understood anything I just said. So what you want to do is push these closer, since there's one that's like all above the door and everything. They're all in sync with each other. They're like a just they're like a popular '90s band or something. And uh, basically, they want you to get on top of it. That way, you can get the attention of all of them. And then you spin your sword, and then they go. Oh, <laughs> I've been drinking too much. Good night. <laughs> And then it opens this thing for you, which better be good. I don't remember what this is, but it better be good. Please? Please don't be a waste of my time! Has nothing to say? Oh, okay, good. Did not waste my time. Got another small key, opens locked door, you can only use it in this area. It's funny, I always thought that was the silliest thing that they could say. Is, you can only use this key in that, this area. I thought that was a given. Not really. In the first Zelda game, if I went to the first dungeon and grabbed all the keys, I could carry them over into the next dungeon free of charge. Alright, oh! He tried me. He tried me hard. Somehow I killed him, so I'll accept it. But he, he almost got me. No, look, what do you want? What do you want? Master, your wallet is full. That's actually good for me to know, sort of, not really actually, but I didn't know that before. I'm happy that I was informed, so now I don't have to worry too much about grabbing money because I I can't carry it. I always wondered, is it possible to fill up your wallet in real life? I assume if you got the monies, maybe, but I, I could never see myself filling up my wallet to the point where I could no longer hold anything in it. That'd be friggin' hilarious. That's what that'd be. Alright. It works on vines. Will it work on you? Oh my god, there are so many of them. It works. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! No, don't want. I wanted to put you away. That's one thing I never got used to in this game, sadly. Was, um... Let me check the map real quick. Okay, cool. There's not much left. I'm going the right direction. Ah! <laughs> They're snapping at me. But I never got used to using these items, really, like... When you use them, you press B, it takes it out, you use it by pressing A, but I always want to press A to put it away, that's the way it's been in every Zelda game ever up until now. But A, for the majority of the times, is to use them, so I guess that's just, it has to happen, I, it's out of my control, I'm going to have to get used to it, I couldn't get used to it two years ago, maybe I'll get, well, more like a year ago. What is that? Staldra. This is a snake monster from before the dawn of time. If there was no time, that means there was no existence. So how did it exist? Was it just sitting in an empty nothingness room? Three bone-plated heads and a thirst to cause pain keep it writhing beyond be beyond death. My analysis of blah, blah, blah. oh my analysis shows to defeat this cursed snake, all three of its heads must be simultaneously destroyed. If you have you have defeated zero of these, this is the part that I didn't want to hear. No! Oh, oh, you tried me. Oh, yeah. You see, if you destroy one, they just come back. But that makes it easier, kind of, because then they all line up, and you can just give it a horizontal strike, and then it's like, blah, we're all dead. Nothing else in this room. Just a little snake creature that existed forever until I started. Okay. Oh man, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, I was done with this place. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, are you... You're one of them hard ones, aren't you? Stop it. Stop it. Good. Alright. Holy crap, I don't want to fall down that. Let's not do that. Let's do the opposite of that. That was not on purpose. I know it's comedical, but that was not on purpose. Okay, I was trying to stop, and Link decided to take one more step. That's right, it's Link's fault, not mine. Let's see how far we can go. Since there's a switch right here, we might as well hit it. What does that do? 
Okay, it opens the gate right below it, which is just a shortcut back to that big circular room where my mother could not figure out how to draw her sword properly. And as always, those shortcuts are never ending. So, let's see if we can do the same thing we did to the other one way back outside of the temple. And... Oh, he's afraid of it! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, but he, he's, he's striding now. But let, let's see if he turns around when this gets near, near him. Nope. Go down! You died. You're dead. I killed you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. Why would I do that? You, you were an actual living being. You had eyes. You had thoughts. You had a life. And I just ended it all. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll never do that to anyone or anything ever again. And you can hold me to that. I promise you. For real though, uh, might as well take those out while we're over here. Let's uh, not fall this time like we did back in the forest. That was annoying, wasn't it, guys? Alright. So, can I speed up? Oh, yeah, I can. That's awesome. Although it makes Link a lot more unstable. So it's up to you if you want to do that or not. I don't need hearts, so I don't need to worry about this. What's going on over here? I treasure chest! What can it have for me? Probably not anything important, but let's go ahead and check. Ah, 20 rupees that I can't hold in my wallet. But it's okay, because the, the treasure chest is now open, which is a sign to me that I've been here. So, okay, Link, don't, don't drain yourself now. Bruh, bruh, you listen to me? Dude, slow down, you're gonna collapse into a heap. Oh, man, look at you. Look at you. Look what you've done to yourself. Oh, you don't care, because you slick. You got all that energy pent up. You just need a quick breather. Alright, stop being stupid, Joseph. Pay attention to what you're doing, otherwise you're gonna fall into the abyss. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Get up there. This is... Sorry guys, this is a stressful moment for me. Back when I played it my first time, I fell like three times up here! <sighs> Bad memories. I'm sorry, Link. I remember I let you down before. But I will never let you down again. No, I let you down again. Not planned and not on purpose. I'm just bad. Oh, oh man. Oh man. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's not move. Let's just go from this point and the vine. On the green colored. I'm stupid. <sighs> Seriously, if you look at these things, they are just green colored ropes. Yep, same texture. Just green. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, almost lost it again. Oh, I'm so sorry, Link, for all those times I let you down. Alright. What's in this treasure chest? You got the thing! That's a uh, golden carving. Uh, this strangely shaped gold structure. No, st structure. Uh, that's a stupid Joseph. Sculpture is covered in mysterious patterns. Now let's listen to what Fire has to say. No? Wow, that's shocking. Okay, I guess we can't go through that door, so we climb up and maybe we can get out from up here? Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Yes! <sighs> okay, you did it, Link. You good man. You good man, you. Now, we can finally get across here. Uh, don't fall, Link. Please don't fall. Not again. Man, I, I really can't believe I dropped that guy down there. I'm going to have to remember never to do anything bad to any living creature again. Maybe I can just punch him in the face multiple times until he knocks out. Now, as you can see, this door holds some significance. Let's find out what that significance is. Next time!